Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm still your math teacher, Nubia Agatha Chizoba. You are welcome. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mighty God, we implore your mercy and pray for a greater mathematical experience in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this lesson, we are going to discuss conic section. Okay. What do we mean by conic section? These are the types of curves we can get when we make a straight cut in a cone. All right? If you have a cone, if you have a cone and you make a cut this way, all right, observe that you're going to have Okay, you're going to have a, a, a curve like this, okay, which we call circle. Now, what is a circle? A circle is a set of points whose distance from a fixed point is a constant. Okay, look at this. It have a fixed point here. We are saying that a circle is the set of points whose distance from this fixed point is, is a, a constant. So from here to here, this, this point here, we are saying that this distance is a constant, is the same. And that is what we call the radius of a circle, the radius of a circle, all right? So let's describe it formally. All right. For this to be a circle, it must be that we have a particular point here and the distance from this, the distance from here to here is equal to the distance from here to here. So all these sets of points, their distance is, uh, the, their distance from this is a constant, which we call the radius. So we are talking of this. We are talking of this distance, okay? It's constant, it's the same. All right, now let's call this point here AB. So this point AB, we have a, here is A, and here is B, all right? Now, if we want to get this uh, radius now, observe that this radius is a, the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. Look at it here. All right, so this is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, all right, which we can calculate using our Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so let this point here be represented as uh, x, y, x, y. Let me be the point x, y. So we have that here is uh, x, y here is y. Okay? So the point, let it be, let the coordinate of this point be S comma Y, S and Y, we now have that uh, this radius here will be equal to what? By Pythagoras theory, remember that the radius R square is equal to the sum of the squares of the two other sides. Now, what is this side? What, what is this? From here to here. Since from here to here is X, okay? And from here to here is A. If we want to get this length, which is the same as this, we have that this will be equal to X minus A. X minus A. So we have that this length is uh, 
x minus a. So x minus a squared plus what about what of this one? What of this length here? This length here, okay? Since from here to here is y, and from here to here is b, it means that from here to here will be y minus b. So we have y minus b. All right. So at, by Pythagoras theorem, we have that r squared is equal to x minus a squared plus y minus b squared. All right. So here we are having the equation of a circle whose center is given as AB and the radius is equal to R. So here we have a equation of a circle whose center is given as a A comma B and uh, the radius is R. All right? Good. So this is the standard form of circle equation. Okay? Now, suppose that the center is the origin. We have a x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Okay? This is the equation of a circle whose center is the origin. Okay? That is a, a is equal to 0, b is equal to 0. You have this. All right? Let's call this equation 1, okay? And this equation 2. This equation 2. All right. Now, from equation 1, from equation 1, which I, I told you that is the standard uh, equation for a circle. This equation, now, if we expand it, we will have this, which can be written as x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c, where g, f, c are constants. Okay? Like here now, we have that g is equal to minus 2a, f is equal to minus 2b, and c here is equal to x squared plus b squared. Okay? They are constants. All right. Remark the following. For any equation representing circle, for any equation representing circle, we must have that the coefficient of x squared and y squared must be equal. The coefficient of x squared and y squared must be equal. We must not have any term that will consist of x, y. Okay? There are no terms in x, y, and uh, the equation must be of second degree. Okay? All right. Graph each of the following. One is uh, x squared plus y squared equal to 25. All right. This is the equation of a circle. The coefficient of x squared and y squared is 1. The coefficient of x squared here is 1, and the coefficient of y squared here is 1. So they are equal. All right. And this we can write as a 5 raised to the power 2. So we have x squared plus y squared equal to 5 raised to the power 2. Okay. And from our equation, we saw that whenever we have this r squared, this is a situation where the origin is the center of the circle. So the graph will be like this. The radius, the constant radius is 5. So we have, if here is 5, it will be, the center is here. Here, 5, 5, 5. This, so this is the circle, 5, 5, 5. Okay? Okay, remember this is freehand sketch. It's supposed to be a circle. It's supposed to have constant uh, radius. We center zero and radius is uh, five. Okay, that's for number one. Then number two, observe that here we have x minus two square plus y plus one square. So for this, 
the center is a uh, two comma minus one. All right. The center here is two comma minus one. All right. Why? Because we saw the other time that the equation of that circle with a center with the center a b. The equation of a circle with center a b and uh, uh, radius r is equal to what? Is equal to s minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equal to r squared. So for this one now, we have that the center will be 2 minus 1. Okay? Here we have minus b and the center is uh, a b. Now that it is plus 1, it is what? Minus 1 y because this is the same thing as y minus minus 1. Okay? This is the same thing as y minus minus 1. All right? So, okay? So that's why we have that. We have this. 2 minus 1 is the center. So you graph it. You have this circle here. This one is 1 with a center 2 minus 1. Okay? That's the center 2 minus 1. And the radius is uh, 5. All right? The center is 2 comma 1. And the radius is uh, 5. This is supposed to be 5. From here to here, it's supposed to be 5. It's supposed to be 5. Okay? That is what it's supposed to be. This is freehand sketch. So it might not look so, but that is what it's supposed to be. All right. Now let's look at this problem here. It says, find the equation of the circle with radius 2 and center 0, comma, minus 7. All right. You are asked to find the equation of this uh, circle. What will it be? Solution. Equation of a circle, the standard equation of a circle with center A, B, and radius R is, uh, okay, this is a standard equation for circle with center A, B, and radius R. So if we have center 0, minus 7, and R2, we have, and radius 2, we are going to have for this particular circle, we are going to have this x minus 0 squared plus y minus minus 7 squared is equal to 2 squared. All right? So this is a x squared plus y plus 7 squared equal to 4. All right? We can expand, okay? We can expand further depending on the required form of your answer, okay? So that is it. Now let's look at another problem. Find the center and radius of this circle of the circle whose equation is given by this. Here, you have to find the center and the radius of the circle whose equation is given by this. Okay? So what we are going to do here is to write this equation in that standard form so that we can pick out the center and the radius accordingly. Okay? Now look at this. I have x squared plus 2x minus 7, equal to minus 7, okay? Subtracting 7 from both sides, I have this. All right, now what you now do is to make this a perfect square, make this a perfect square, and remember whatever you add, or subtract to make it a perfect square, you do it to this side. If you add anything this here, you add it here. If you subtract anything here, you subtract it from here. All right. Okay. Now, to make this a perfect square, what do we do? 
we take half of this, square it, and add it to this. So add it to both sides, okay? And add it here. So we are going to add it to that way. So make this a perfect square. So make this a perfect square. Let me group it. So make this a perfect square. I take half of the quotient of x and square it. Then add. So I have this x squared plus 2x, half of it is 1, square it, I add, okay? Remember, I'll add it here also. Now, plus, this one is y squared, half of quotient of x, y here is, uh, the quotient of y here is minus this. So half of it is uh, minus 3, so I square it and add. So I have minus this y, minus 3 squared, is uh, 9, okay? So this is equal to minus 7 plus 1 plus 9. All right. So I have here now that this is now a perfect square. This is equal to x plus 1 square, all square, okay? Plus, this is y minus 3, all square, is equal to Minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 9 is 3. So we have a 3 here. All right. So it is now in that standard form, and it tells us. No, remember, this 3 is the same thing as what? Root 3 all squared. Okay. So it's now in the standard form. We have that the center is equal to minus 1, comma, 3. And that the radius is equal to root 3. And we are done. Beautiful. Okay? Another curve we can get by making a straight cut in the cone is what we call parabola. It's a parabola. How is it? What is a parabola? A parabola is a set of points in the plane which is equidistant from a fixed point, say F, which we call the focus, and a fixed line, L, which we call the directories. Okay? Let's look at one whose vertex is on the origin. The vertex is on the origin. So we have this. All right, suppose we call here the point F, the focus. And the focus we have here as a, the coordinate of the focus here is 0, comma P. All right, and the direct trace, the direct trace is the line Y equal to minus P. Okay? Now, we have... This is minus p here. We have the line y equal to minus p is this line here. y equal to minus p. All right. Now, by our definition, we have that these are, for this to be a parabola, it must be equidistant. It must be equidistant from a fixed point this and the uh, directories. That's why if I have this, this, if this is a point on a parabola, it must be such that uh, the distance from this to this will be the same as the distance from this to this, okay? Now, observe for this, this being a parabola, it must be that the distance from here to here must be the same thing as the distance from here to here, all right? Now, what is the distance from here to here? If that's a, a, a is a, a hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, which right angle triangle? Look at this. This is a hypotenuse of this uh, right angle the triangle. Look at this. All right. So which means uh, using Pythagoras theorem, I have that the distance from this to this should be equal to. Because using Pythagoras theorem, I have the square of this 
is equal to the square of this plus the square of this. So now I want to get this. It is now equal to square root of the square of this plus the square of this. Okay? So what's, what is this? This is a... Remember, here is a 0p. From here to here is x. So I have that x squared plus from here to here is what? From here to here is y minus uh, p. Okay? From here to here is y minus p. So y minus p all squared. Okay? Is equal to this squared. So this now is equal to square root of uh, this. Okay? All right. Now, we, this should be equal to the distance from here to here. And what is the distance from here, from the point, from this point to the directories? It is equal to, this is a, uh, uh, from here to here is a y, okay? From here to here is y, and from here to here is a p. So this is equal to y plus p modulus, okay? From here to here is a y. From here to here is y, and from here to here is p. So it should be y plus p, all right? So this means that uh, this is, should be equal to this, all right? So we have that uh, square root of x squared plus y minus p all squared should be equal to y plus p. Squaring both sides, we have that this is x squared plus y minus p all squared is equal to y plus p squared. Okay, so we have here x squared plus y squared, x squared, y squared, minus 2py plus p squared is equal to y squared plus 2py plus p squared. Okay? x squared plus y squared minus 2py plus p squared is equal to y squared plus 2py squared is equal to y squared plus 2py plus p squared. Okay? So this p squared, this p squared, you can go y squared, y squared. Okay? So we have that x squared is equal to 2py 2py plus 2py. So x squared is equal to 4py. Beautiful. All right, so we have uh, x squared equal to 4py. Beautiful. That gives us the equation of a parabola whose vertex is at the origin and the focus is on y-axis. Okay? A parabola whose vertex is at the origin and the focus is on y axis. That is the equation of that. All right? Observe that if p is greater than zero, the parabola opens uh, upwards. Like here, we have p here is greater than zero, the parabola opens upwards. But if p is less than zero, the parabola will open downwards. All right? Check that, and you see that it is true. Let's solve a problem. This says, find the equation of a parabola with vertex 0, 0, and focus 0, 2. Okay? So, observe, we hear the vertex is at 0. The focus is, uh, our P there is greater than 2. So, we have uh, this. Okay? That's our, remember, our equation. So we have, this is x squared 
is equal to 4, 2, okay, y. S squared equal to 8y. You are done. Beautiful. S squared equal to 8y. You are okay. All right. Another problem. Find the focus of the parabola y equal to minus s squared. Find the focus. All right? Now, remember, this is the same thing as uh, multiplied through by minus 1. We have uh, s squared equal to minus y. All right? s squared equal to minus y. In that case, what do you have? You have that, uh, remember your equation for x squared equal to 4py, all right? So with this, we have that minus 1 is equal to 4p, all right? So that implies that p here is equal to minus 1 over 4, which means that p is what? Is less than 0, okay? So this parabola should open downwards, all right? So... Please, so we have that the focus is equal to the focus is equal to zero comma minus one over four, and uh, the directrix L is what is the line. The directrix L is the line y equal to one over four, one over four. Okay, the since p is minus 1 over 4, remember the direct trace should now be the line y equal to minus p. So minus minus 1 over 4, which is a 1 over 4. Now this is true. A parabola, a parabola whose equation is given as y square equal to 4 ps is such that the vertex is at the origin. The focus is along x axis. Okay? So we have the focus as p, comma, zero. And the directrix is the vertical line x equal to minus p. Okay? And it opens to right if p is greater than zero, left if p is uh, less than zero. This is what we mean. For this, the other one we did is this way or that way. But this one now is like this. If it, it opens, if P is uh, greater than zero, we have, uh, first of all, the focus will be along X as So we have uh, a P zero here for this focus, okay? We have P comma zero, okay? And uh, we have that uh, since the vertex is here, so it's like this, it's like this, okay? And the direct trace should be, it should be equal distance because this is the point in the parabola. So it should be minus P here, the, this line here, okay? So if P is uh, greater than zero, we have this. But if P is if P is less than zero, it's going to face the uh, left, okay? All right, all right. So you should know that this, you should know the nature of this parabola and the nature of this uh, parabola. Okay, in solving problems, you should know which is which. All right. So we end it here. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. And uh, remember to share with your friends. Turn up if you like what I'm doing. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.